the Iron Man. You see, I'm blind in this Iron Man. I was spending the night at my brother-in-law's house, who I had trained with the year prior, spending hours upon hours on the weekends riding a tandem bicycle, running side by side, swimming with him. It's his truck that we loaded my tandem bike into. He drove to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. He pumped the tires up. He led me to get my markings on my arms and ankles or on my calves. It was he that I stood by listening to the national anthem and the cannon go off. As tears were in my eyes, I knew it was going to be an awesome day. As I entered into the water, swimming the crawl stroke, he swam behind me, tapping me on my calf to tell me left or right, making sure a little lost swimmer wasn't in the middle of the lake, <laughs> leading me around the buoys, not once but twice. We then hopped on the tandem bike, I in the back, pedaling my life away. He in the front, hopefully was pedaling as hard as I was. <laughs> But you see, he was also steering. He was also braking. He was also shifting gears. Just as importantly, he was also making sure we had water, nutrition, and everything we needed to survive. It was a team that was making it through this race. And as those 112 miles on the bike ended, it's now me falling apart. But it was the team that stood by me. It was my brother-in-law, Andy, who said, Scotty, we can slow down. Do you need a drink? Do you need food? We can take a break. It was him that continued to motivate me. My wife, my family, my friends on the sidelines just encouraging me to continue.